Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. We are back at the Disneyland Resort because the holidays are starting to arrive. Yeah, today we're going to check out all of the changes that have since happened as Halloween is officially done and over with. Bye-bye. We're working on the holiday season, which includes most pretty much all of November yeah. and December. So it's a really exciting time here at the Disneyland Resort. We love, love, love the Christmas and holiday season. Yeah. The weather is the peak of perfection. It is, and I always say this, that uh, as far as the Christmas vibe in Southern California, nobody does it better, nobody does it better than Disney. As far as bringing that, that holiday vibe I don't know. The magic, the warm and cozy feeling. I think it's, it's, it's not those that, two combined. It's not that the people don't decorate at other establishments. It's just that this place kind of nails it. Has a nostalgia to it as well. I don't know how else to put it, but it just emulates all that is the holiday season in all the right yeah. ways. So what we figured we'd do today is we would check out DCA, Disney California Adventure, and Disneyland, and kind of walk through and show you some of the things that are starting to pop up yeah. for the holiday season. And again, we'll probably have a couple videos on this because stuff changes every day. And we're gonna start over at DCA. Yes. Uh, and we're gonna work our way to Disneyland eventually, but we're noticing right away. Oogie Boogie is gone. He has vanished for the season. Uh, his his tortilla, his big moon or whatever, is still there. <laughs> but uh, he is pretty much gone for all intents and purposes. Yeah, we thought when we start over here in DCA, we would check out if the Festival of Holidays booths are out. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, we're going to go to Disneyland. Like I said, we're going to have a few videos showing all of these changes and things to come yeah. uh, because they kind of trickle in over the next few days. Yeah, it takes them a while to get all this stuff up. So Yeah, and then of course make sure that you're subscribed to our channel because we're going to be here on the first day of Christmas. We're also going to be here uh, for the Merriest Nights Party, something new for 2021. Yeah. So you definitely want to make sure you subscribe because it's going to be fun. All right, just as we walk in, five and dime and the window displays are reflecting the next holiday, that's right, look at that. We nice. uh, we both have that shirt, that flannel, by the and way. And the shirt. And the shirt behind it, that's right, I forgot. And I'm liking those red beanies right there. Those are nice. I didn't know those existed. Yeah, let's go. What a good compliment to the uh, any of the holiday wear, obviously, right? Is that Horace, Katie? He's rare, you don't see him out too much. It is good to see him out, yes sir. All right. <laughs> looking sharp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Horace is looking pretty sharp. Pretty uh, dapper. He is. He looks cute. <laughs> He's got a cute little tail, too. Hyperion Bridge has been cleaned of its Halloween-ness. No more bats. No more bats. No. As we make our way in. So the spooky windows have changed out into the uh, maniacal face. elves. We've studied this one uh, with our friend Adam to uh, to a point of I think there's something wrong with us, but Adam's see them working. sound effects of this is the best thing in the world. When he yeah, goes, I can't even remember if we find that clip. I'll have to. Well, there was one of them that his arm. I don't. I think they must have fixed it. His arm was was yeah, doing it a move. Yeah, overextended. It was like hyperextended. It was very strange, but uh, yeah, you're right. They're working very hard to make all the toys for all the kiddos. I think it was this one previously. Yeah, they, I think they've since fixed it, but uh, yeah, new so window display. Good. It's always fun to uh, to Christmas. see these. Yeah. This one's too. Yeah, Santa is uh, letting the toys just kind of glide right in there. It's that, there's a song, I used to watch a sing-along where they all marched into the sack. Oh, so that's what that is, what yeah. So good. And we had to double back to Big Top Toys to see this window. The list. Santa is going over the list. Oh my gosh, Katie made the list. We missed this. Now I want you to look at the list very carefully. Okay. <gasps> I'm on the list. Now I don't know if this is the naughty list or not. Uh, no, this is definitely not the naughty list. But I right can tell. there, under Kelly, there you are. Oh my gosh. You made the list. Look at that, my friend Alex too. Alex is there, yeah. And now it's my friend Kelly. I didn't even notice Kelly and you said that. Is that Chris Provost right there? I oh my bet gosh, you it is. Chris Provost, he made it Santa's list too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think he's probably pointing at your name going, you know what, move. No. She's on the naughty list, Santa. There's a mistake. No, he's looking at the- <laughs> There's a mistake to the no. list. No. He's looking at the naughty list. All right. And saying, wow, Katie definitely is top. I don't know. He's, nice 
He's covered his eyes. He looks a little, I don't know. That's just because he's studying it. All his right. arm is just kind of covering it. All right, well, it doesn't mean you can uh, slack off now. No. Just because he made the list. He could easily scratch you right off that list. I mean, he could, but he wouldn't, though. Okay. And yes, confirmed, the Headless Horseman has galloped all the way back to Sleepy Hollow. Aww. He's done. He's done uh, tormenting us over here at DCA. Look behind you! Yep, that's right. The displays have changed to the red and green for the holidays. Christmas is happier together. Oh yeah. And the old trolley treats Pacific Electric. Oh, that sounds like the train's about to pass through. I heard the bell. Candy Mountain. But it's back to gingerbread houses and Christmas trees and giant lollipop forests. Gumdrops and cookies. I mean, look at this. Oh. oh. Where is he? Where is he? Where Top he level? Bottom Where level? You know, I think it might not even all be all the way done yet, maybe? Maybe he's not running it, just the sound he's effects are going. Because they're in the process of building it, maybe? And yet another window at Trolley Treats. This one is pretty cool as well. Yeah, it is. I think it's not all the way done yet. Look, I... what we got some ribbons. Oh! Stock full of ribbons. There's the... Uh... Those are those, like, the hard candy ribbons. Right, and then we've got sour balls here. Wow, peppermints. Peppermints. Gingerbread houses and cookies. Candy cane forest. Wow. Look at the rooftop of that one. That's a pretty one. We're gonna have to get some edible glitter for when we decorate our gingerbread house we bought. That's a good idea. Costco video if you haven't watched that yet. That's true. Because you're gonna have to get all aboard for the sweetest treats. All aboard. All aboard. And that's appropriate. We've got Elsa from Frozen 2. That's right, Frozen and Frozen 2. Oh, she brought us some cold weather yeah, for Yeah, for the sure. winter season. Oh, yeah. Very appropriate. And I'm thankful for it. I miss Me wearing too. jackets. Yes. It is a good thing. Oh, yes. Thank, thank you, you Elsa. For this wonderful weather. We have you to thank. Are you, I don't know. I think this <laughs> follows you, Elsa. Now, I forget, do they do a, a wreath up there for a car thing? I want to yeah. say they do. Yeah, I think so. That'll be nice to see. So, just a tip if you're coming to the Disneyland Resort anytime during the holiday season, especially at the end of November, December, January, bring a jacket because it gets very cold at night. It could be a nice warm day with a nice breeze. Now, she says that, but there are hot days, so. Sure. Just check the weather is what she's saying. Yeah, check the weather, <laughs> be prepared for hot and cold. But you just want to hope that it's like this, that's all. Yeah. All right, Cars Land, yet to see anything really significant in the way. Hello! Nothing uh, sticking out to me, but something no. that is sticking out. Is the merch booth has uh, switched over sure to the holiday holiday stuff. There's that shirt we have, spirit jerseys. And speaking of the holidays, look what has shown up for Festival of Holidays. The booths have started to arrive. This is holiday duets, complete with garland. And moving right along, Grandma's Recipes. Traditional flavors shared from generation to generation. Yeah, you can see right there, the Navidad Mickey right there. Making spirits bright, joyous toast to the season of celebration. And that one's celebrating Christmas. So I'm assuming that these are more in the, uh, you know, cocktail specialty oh, yeah, cocktails, yeah. who knows? Like uh, Christmas specialties, probably like, maybe like spiced egg, or spiked eggnog. Or... Yeah. Now what you're seeing here is the uh, front of house audio for the performances. I love the Mickeys though. Look at the Mickey designs on there. And when I say front of house, I mean for that stage right there where all the uh, performances happen. And then this would be the audio front of house. The guy who's controlling the sound basically. Uh, and you can see the, the gearbox is already there. So that's where he'll run the, the sound from for that stage. Can't wait to see what they have for this year. And then right here under the Golden Zephyr, Merry mashups, fun fusions of seasonal favorites. That's always interesting because they come up with some pretty interesting stuff. And again, liking all the different little Mickey designs, celebrating Christmas. So this one's gonna be more of a 
Christmas vibe, I'm assuming. This one usually has that mac and cheese. We like the That's stuffing true. mac. I think it's here or it's over by the Redwood Creek area. Well, there's been two different mac and cheeses right. uh, like now. Right, cornbread one maybe? This is the one with like the breadcrumbs or something. I, I don't know. I think this is one of them. Either way, we do like this booth. And Katie, speaking of the performances and the, the music and the bands that are showing up, I hope, I hope, mostly kosher comes back. Oh yeah. They're so fun. And Fat Cat Swinger, I think Fat Cat Swingers, awesome yep. There's a, there's a there's ton so of them. so many good ones. But those are my standouts, those are some of my favorites, so. We rock out to a time or two. Oh yeah. look, uh, Feliz Navidad. Huh? As the mariachis play their hearts out. There's even little, little wreaths and everything. Nick Wild. What up, Nick? All right, so we're making our way out of DCA, but we're gonna take the uh, Redwood Creek Trail kind of area. Uh, the Grizzly River. The Soren Redwood Creek route. Yeah, because there's out. some decor, decor that's in the trees in this little corridor here. Yeah. And we're trying to get to Disneyland before the sun goes down, because it's going down quick. We're racing it. Uh, it's getting darker earlier, and the clocks haven't even changed yet, but get ready for uh, shorter days which I'm not a fan of, I'll be honest. Oh, you can see the, the C9 bulbs pretty clearly there. And then over here at my favorite merch store of DCA, Steve the Snowboard and Bear, that's, that's my name for him. He's got his Christmas sweater on. He's got his jingle necklace with his Mickeys. He's ready. He's got his eye on the prize, right, Steve? Fun fact, they used to sell that sweater. I think it was 2018, possibly. That's when Steve got it. I think it was 2018. And then the green one that we'll show you. Oh, yeah. And they also have some decor up there. So you go oh, the you the the yeah, the oh, oh, that's right. Look at that. And then um, some and the and the bears. I love this store. It's so good. I forget the name that I have for this guy. Hiker Harry? I'm not sure, but he's got the green sweater. He's also wearing the bulbs. His bulbs are actually on. Somebody was looking ahead as he checks his compass. He's even got, an, look at, he's even got Jingle Bells on his walking stick. I never noticed that, did you? And check it out, Mr. Grizzly, he's got his winter hat on and his ho, ho, ho sweater. And look at that, it's lit up because it's getting dark. He has lost his trick-or-treat bucket. He's got his ho, ho, ho sweater on. Back to having his lantern. His overbite kills me. He's so proud with his little hat. He's got his hat strapped on too. Normally, when people wear those hats, they don't strap it around the chin. He's he's ready. I think because he's ready for the rapids is why. He's not messing around. No. Making our way towards Soren, past the Grand Californian. We see some decor on the lamppost there. They pretty much hit all these lampposts all the way through. Got some daring takers for Grizzly River Rapids on a chilly day. I give those people props. Now we saw this at night, but we didn't really get the scope of it. But you can see the trees outside of Soren are decorated with garland. The popcorn and cranberry. The popcorn cranberry garland. Monorail's coming through. Oh yeah, monorail blue. Wow. And then over there in the windsock, they got the Santa hat. That's genius. That one's missable if you don't look up. You'll miss that one. And look, we've actually got legit lanterns and uh, soup cans over there in that tree. This is unintentional, but they look like holly berries. They kind of do. In we that tree, to, right? Look at it. We used to have like a holly berry bush over in the queue for uh, Gadget's Go Coaster. Okay. Back in the day. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, because they had those like spiky, um, what are they called, the, the leaves? They were kind of spiky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I kind of remember that. That's why these are not holly, but they, they have that vibe big time. I love that. Look at that. All right, headed out of DCA, crossing the Splanade, or Esplanade if you want to use the full word. I don't, why do we need to use the full word? Why? Esplanade. <laughs> headed the Splanade. to Disneyland. That's right, crossing the desolate Esplanade to make our way to Disneyland. It's worth it. We're gonna check out to see what kind of holiday decor and festiveness we can find.
Okay, we have made our way to the Disneyland gates and look, the Fab Five Pumpkins are only existing on one half of the entrance gate. They will likely be gone after tonight, I'm guessing, because over here, they are gone. And as we have crossed in, we noticed right away the Disneyland Railroad Main Street Station has the garland applied. There it is. Oh yeah. You gotta start right in the front like that. I'm happy they do that. That's what we're in for. We're gonna we're gonna find a lot of decor, I think. I have a I have a strong feeling. So are you uh, excited for the tree to get here? Um <laughs> So excited. How long has it been since we had a tree? I guess a year. I'm glad we saved this for now because there are lights on and it is like the perfect timing. Yeah, twilight, uh, well you still have daylight, but the lights are on. Primo, that's the golden hour as far as Disneyland is concerned. It's true. Uh, and as far as this time of year, you know, the days get shorter, but you gotta time it right. And oh yes, the fire department has the garland. They, you know, they have to do this for Walt. It, it's, a, it's a must that this gets done early for Walt's sake. So we're very happy that the fire station has garland, yes. The Disneyland Emporium has its windows decked out for the holidays. Look at that, that is incredible. All right, making our way down Main Street. What can we find? What can, oh, I see garland over there across. It's actually lit up, it's not all the garden. It is, garden over at uh, Lincoln Opera House, Mad Hatter. And look, we can Oh, you know what's funny though? They replaced him with orange flowers in homage <laughs> and, and look and a very few yellow ones for the glow but that's like man. that's like almost like uh thanks winky blinky thanks for a good season you, you know what i mean job, that's man. what i'm saying it's, 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 a, it's, a, right. it's a thank you color but pretty soon that's going to be replaced by a giant tree that's going to go towering up this way and looking down main street uh we've noticed that there are some vine-like garland hanging right in front of the Emporium. Now I wonder if that means that the Mickey Garlands are gonna start to pop up within the next couple days. Well, interesting that you say that because normally they would hold out until they did the holiday special that they would film for ABC. Oh, with the They would wait thing. because they needed the jib arm cameras to come in because right, the jib yeah, arms yeah, you're right. would, would kind of, you know, cross over. So they, would, so they would normally wait until they finished the Christmas special. I've heard rumor that that special is not happening this year. Oh, that so, would make sense. the garland could come up early as opposed to later. Hey, I'll take more days of that garland. I remember the year, uh, I think it was the 60th. I think the 60th and the year after, I think, we didn't have any garland because uh, Mac, the big Mac truck, right. he couldn't make For it up. paint the it. night. He yeah. couldn't clear it. That's true. Good old paint the night. We miss you. We miss you. So this is the uh, kind of the strand that we were talking about right here in front of the Emporium. And right now it's kind of just attached to this tree right here. But could it attach to the other side by the magic shop over there? And there's the other strand in front of the magic shop attached to that tree right there. Now could it connect eventually to right over there? Hey Jimberly, so I'm seeing a bunch of these like vines and ropes all the way up down Main Street. Is it true that the garland might be coming out within the next couple of days? What do you know? Tell us what you know. He ain't gonna tell me. He's, I mean, he's a rock. He holds out. He says I have to take him to dinner first. Oh, all right. And he wants Blue Bayou. I, I was gonna wonder, I was wondering where Jimberly would enjoy eating. He really wanted to go to Blue Bayou. I mean, he is a romantic guy. And look at this, there is another example of that vine-like garland attaching to a tree, almost like it's preset. I also, I see lights in this tree. Oh yeah! Already strung up, you see that? Yeah, I do. I think they're gonna go up early this year because like I said, I they used to wait for the uh, the holiday uh, parade right. filming because they had the big jib arms and all that stuff. It's happening. So yeah, it's there you go. It's beginning to look a lot like a Disneyland cruise. All right, let's head down Main Street. More strands right there. Disney clothiers. Oh, Main Street is such a treat. Yeah, every, there's, yep, Coke Corner. They're everywhere. There's one, there's one right here in front of the porch right there. 
Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to do a whole um, look inside Plaza Point. We are. I think we'll hold there's off. A, there's a teaser. Oh, that teaser. Looks, that looks amazing in there. That's it's gonna be good. I, I we've been waiting. We've it's, held, it's we've held out. holding off for. Yeah. We wanted to get through, you know, Halloween first. Yeah. So we can fully enjoy it and feel it. We want to feel it. Oh, yeah. All right, making our way towards the castle. Let's see what kind of ad it is. Oh, I see a lot. I see a lot of icicles. Hello, Walt and Mickey. Now, since the last time we've shown the castle, they've added a lot more holiday decor, a lot more snow, icicle vibes. Let's check it out. We've got icicles around the entire structure. I'm, I'm saying it. Snow on every roof. The Holiday Castle is that much closer to being a reality. It's pretty much here. Sans the lighting. They'll do a, a you know, a lighting look uh, starting on the 12th, but all the elements are aligning. We have now made our way to New Orleans Square. Darkness is upon us. You can see more lights have arrived as well as the Mardi Gras mask and the appropriate Mardi Gras lighting that has been here for a few days. We've got Mardi Gras bulbs, Katie. Yeah. Uh, well, they Santa. They kind of just do a Mardi Gras theme for Christmas. They do. And Santa, uh, as you saw in a previous video, there he is. More festive lights, and they've even added another layer to Blue Bayou, an upper arched layer of blue lights. I know. I noticed that last time, and I thought that was so cool. Check out this wreath right here. Legit wreath in front of uh, the royal courtyard here. As well as the light poles over here also have some decor on them. Yes, with uh, you know the brass, of course. Here's another wreath on the other side here. Also with the Mardi Gras colors, the purple and green and gold. More of the brass horns and the Mardi Gras mask. Look at that. And an up close and personal look with the blue bayou lights. I love how they've created the arches. That is so cool. More of the uh, garland up on the uh, 33 level up there, as well as these kind of smaller wreaths above 35 Royal Street. This has to be my favorite right over here. Those colors of those lights and that, whatever that garland is, is so classic. Oh man, and some decor on these arches as you make your way towards the original. 33 entrance over here at the crystal shop look at these awesome blue and gold i don't know what you would call those but there's a wreath up there and then this is kind of some uh, garland vertical garland really nice and then as we spin across up towards 33 look at the red up there it's a little bit of gold oh yeah the bulbs uh, below there Yep. But I think that represents that that's right in front of the Court of Angels. Yeah, because you see the angel statue there. Oh, this lamppost decor is very sparkly. Look at that. They're all unique. They're all a little bit different. And then closer to the beignet spot. Look at these these lights in this uh, situation. It's very classic, the lighting. It's kind of old school. The tones of those colors. Very kind of 50s to me. All right, we're gonna jump on the train and head over to Toontown to check out some more decor. Please watch your kids. Oh yeah, Critter Country is a buzz with activity. Buzz, 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 as in bees. Hungry Bear, I wonder if those loaded fries are they still are there. there. I see it. Wait, you saw them? Uh-huh. Oh boy. We might have to take this whole lap. I'm just kidding. As we steam past Hungry Bear Restaurant, where they have the loaded fries available still <laughs> after Halloween. Imagine if he said that. Yeah. Ooh, it is chilly over here on this side of the rivers of America. Very, very wintry and holiday like. Very cold. I think the rivers are about to freeze over. We'll be ice skating on there very soon. All right, we still have half of the path blocked here at Toontown, but we're gonna make our way 
through the tunnel and see what kind of decor has arrived. I already see something in the distance. Oh yeah, out in front of Roger Rabbit cartoon Spain. Look at these giant bows on the lamppost. Oh yeah. And then we pan over and there is a big wreath at the top of the cab company. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Roger is Santa'd up. And it seems like all the light poles have the big ribbons on them here in Toontown. There's also the old taxi cab ribbons with the checkerboard, I love that. And then of course, the garland and the stars and all the ornaments in the front of Cartoon Spin. Oh yeah, look at the fireworks uh, factory has actual smoke coming out. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's a good look. And of course, we've got, oh, mishap at the fireworks factory. More smoke, oh my gosh. That is amazing. Is that a new effect? Because I've never seen that. That is so cool. We came to see the wreaths, but we, we were staying for the smoke and the fire. And the firehouse has some really impressive garland up there, complete with fire hydrants and a hose. And then the old post office has a nice lit up wreath up there. And it's in the postal colors. Red, white, and blue. U.S. Postal. Film fans all over, better be ready, Katie. There is a hidden Mickey right there. The old theater's getting a tune-up, Katie. Wow. Here's the before picture in black and white. Here's the after in color. Doesn't look much different, just colorized. You'll really love it. And that brings us over to the Toontown gazebo, which is festooned. That's right, I said festooned. 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 Oh, I didn't even know what I did there. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Uh, festooned with garland and bulbs. Look at this, Katie. Get up close and personal with the decorations here. They're wrapping all around the columns, as well as Pluto's doghouse getting a nice garland accoutrement. So they put up the relish garland, but they haven't put up the ketchup and mustard. Because those are yellow and red. So daisies would have daisies and forks because it's daisy. Yes, I see the forks and the daisies, yes. And then over where we were, like right near Roger Rabbit's, I remember that's where Huey, Dewey, and Louie had their themed garland. Okay. Uh, so everybody has their own theme. Don't worry, I'm not getting tired yet. <laughs> Look at this, Goofy's house is already decorated in lights. He's, he's a fast worker, Katie. That looks good. And then of course the front of Goofy's house. Even better. Look at the big wreath up there. All right, look at that. The buoy has a wreath. And then of course, garland up on the, uh, the rail of the, uh, of the SS Daisy. Yeah, he's drying clothes and being festive at the same time. As we make our way to the home of Mickey Mouse. Kind of a classic look for Mickey. He's got his tree and his train. Yeah, there's the tree. Not lit up like Not Minnie. yet lit. Yeah. Minnie's is uh, lit. I but can the train see. is standing by, ready to choo choo around. Which that stands for Walt. That's, oh, okay. That's a tribute to for Walt. For his old buddy Walt. Yeah. It is very classic. I love it. Oh, what's up, Minnie Mouse, with your pink bulbed tree? Now, her tree's lit already. She's way ahead of, of uh, Mickey on that one. She's got a bow on top too, which is pretty awesome. And Katie's old friend, It's a Small World, getting its holiday overlay. Oh, yeah. I can already see some of the outlines of some of the lights, like the bulbs. Some of the bulbs. That is quite a sight when that gets lit for the first time. I cannot wait for that day. We'll be here for it. It's quite a sight when that lights up for the first time for the holidays, I'll tell you. Oh, and the snow back here. Yeah, pretty amazing. So ready. Stand by for magic. Making our way back into the main part of the park. Okay, back on Main Street, Plaza Point, there it is. Looking good for the holidays. We still haven't been inside, but we will eventually. You get the idea. Looks very... Very icy and cold, but she looks warm with her hoodie and her doll waiting at the door. And then look at this fine gentleman right here. 
holding up a wreath in front of the old ice skating rink. He's also got a satchel of, of toys and presents. And a bugle. What are you gonna do with that bugle there, sir? Gonna play us a tune? Well, that is gonna wrap it up for Main Street Disneyland USA. That was uh, quite a holiday decor tour. It sure was. It just gets me so excited for the holiday season. Um, I'm ready for gingerbread cookies. I'm ready for pajama day. That doesn't surprise me. Small World Holiday, Sleeping Beauty's Winter Castle. Things are happening. More and to you come. Don't, you yeah. don't want to miss them, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you want to catch some of our frequent live streams, you can make sure to hit the little bell notification there as yes. well. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That's right, and we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody.